Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Millie and if you're my old subscriber, hello, thank you for coming. <laughs> my boyfriend is filming and he's laughing so much because the kids are here, but never mind. Happy, happy Christmas, okay. Merry Christmas. Today's video is about the differences between uh, uh, how we celebrate Christmas in Uganda and Denmark. Generally how uh, Danish people celebrate Christmas, all right? Here are the differences between Uganda and Denmark. Number one, um, in, in, in Denmark they have a tradition where they, in the, the, last, the last Friday in November they have something called Yoide, Jade. Uh, in, in Denmark we, we call Christmas Yuli, so J for J day. Then they have a beer out which they drink. So they have that tradition, we don't have that in Uganda. All right, number two, gifts. I think in Denmark there is a big tradition of uh, gifts you know like people are so stressed with gifts they're advertising for gifts all the way from I think October people are thinking of gifts everybody think what do you want what do you wish for uh, TVs advertising for gifts 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 so I I feel like it's all about gifts but in Uganda we don't do that at least when I was young we never used to do that and I think the only people who do gifts are the rich people maybe and the middle class people correct me if I'm wrong my other uh, followers who live in Europe <laughs> so I think in Denmark there's so much this whole thing of giving gifts and I think sometimes even people are disappointed so number three is church religion going to church I think in in Denmark some people actually who don't go to church normally they don't go do to church but it's not so many people who do that if you, when you think how, how many beautiful churches are in Denmark but in Uganda people go to church like the churches are filled up even from outside I think they have to have my the priest has to have a micro microphone is called microphone yeah so the people can hear that so the, that's the whole thing of the region like the Jesus Christ is born we we celebrate like Jesus is born and and the preachers are preaching about the the, the Jesus is born and all that I think in Denmark all people and a few people go to church during Christmas that's a big difference yes and number four is the food in Denmark we eat dinner we actually celebrate Christmas on the 24th while in Uganda they celebrate Christmas on the 25th so here in Denmark we eat dinner and what do we eat some people they eat turkey and some people they eat duck and we most people they eat it with potatoes boiled potatoes and the red cabbage I think it's called the red cabbage and I think some people they can put in some apples in the in the duck or something like that so this is something all most at least I think like nine percent of Danish people do it's a tradition they eat duck and then they eat a um, grilled pork roasted pork yeah roasted pork like a big chunk of pork which is roasted yes and then they drink some wine and so on and so forth and they eat around six o'clock whereas in Uganda we celebrate Christmas on the 25th and we eat lunch they wake up people at five o'clock in, in the morning, in the morning. Sorry. yes and they prepare all this dinner because they have to go to church so they prepare all this they go to church after church they eat their dinner in Uganda we don't have a, a specific food we eat on Christmas we eat normally we cook like each or everything we eat on a normal basis we make a little bit of rice and potato and matoke green banana and meat and all that the only thing is like even poor people make sure they have money to eat meat yes it's a privilege in Uganda on Christmas you eat meat all right that is it and I think another thing in Denmark they do what we don't do maybe even other countries don't do uh, they have something uh, called um, Salaman. it's called Risalamang thank you it's called Risalamang I think we found I, I could translate that to rice porridge rice porridge yes and then they put in a uh, mandla also, sorry guys my Danish my English is so bad it's a almond piece. what Almond. Almond. almond they put in an, a piece of almond and and then they play a game if you if if in your portion if you get this almond you win a game i think i don't know if it's that's in all of other if, if it's in other countries but in denmark that's something they do yeah and then they drink something called snaps a very very strong i don't know if it's a it's a kind of a small strong alcohol <laughs> Is they put in very very small glasses and it's really really strong. I think it's a very Danish thing. 
I think we are on number five activities they do in Denmark after people they eat their dinner they maybe play games uh, maybe watch TV or whatever but they stay home also you have to think it's winter in Denmark at around that time so people they just stay home whereas in Uganda guys people they go to the beach after lunch they go to the theater they go to the movies they, they do different activities with the family in Denmark people stay in of course it's dark and it's cold outside so it's huge 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 it's cozy People Cozy. stay home and, and then they stay home and eat a lot of candy and <clears throat> all that uh, junk. <laughs> and <I'm laughs> home. We don't eat candy home back home in Uganda. We just go on the beaches and maybe have some beers and so forth. Um, so and and the traveling, uh, traveling. I think one of the common things both they do in Uganda and Denmark people travel to their families and there's so much traffic during the last day of Christmas. But the only difference in Uganda they put the prices up. For the if you're gonna go with the bus or taxi, they double the price up. Whereas in, in Denmark, the price stays the same. So, guys, these were the few differences be, uh, between Denmark and Uganda regarding Christmas. I hope you enjoyed your video, and I was not too quickly. If I was giggling, it's because my boyfriend is filming and my sons are up there making fun. All right, happy Christmas and enjoy your Christmas. Bye.